guys, it's Trivia Games or Adam, and we're back with another Fortnite Top 5 video. And in today's Top 5, I'll be going over 5 things you should never do here in Fortnite. And before we get into the video, I do want to quickly mention that tomorrow, the Season 3 Battle Pass comes out. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to give away a bunch of PSN and Xbox codes so you guys can go ahead and buy the new Battle Pass. Since the Battle Pass is relatively cheap, that way I can give out a bunch of codes. So to enter, all you have to do is drop a like and let me know in the comment section below what platform do you play Fortnite on? Is it PC, PS4, or Xbox One? Now, we're not done yet. Just to prove to you guys that I'm not kidding around with this giveaway because there are a ton of fake giveaways with Fortnite videos. Somewhere in this video, I have hidden two $10 PSN US cards, and that is just enough to buy a battle pass. So I have them hidden in the video, so it's first come, first serve while you're watching the video. Keep an eye out for these codes. And if you don't get one of those two, remember you can still answer by dropping a like and commenting what platform you play Fortnite on. And I'll give more codes away just after the battle pass comes out. There are always times here in Fortnite where we have these really lame, avoidable deaths in Fortnite, and that's kind of what I want to focus on in today's video. I want to go over a couple of things that you should really keep in mind when playing Fortnite so you can avoid these really stupid deaths and hopefully get to end game and actually get the win. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure to go ahead and drop a like on today's video. That'd be amazing. Subscribe if you are new to the channel for more Fortnite top five videos. And besides that, guys, let's go ahead and go over five things you you should never do here in Fortnite. So coming in at the number five spot on my list, we gotta talk about getting killed by traps and avoiding these deaths because getting killed by traps is hands down one of the most annoying things here in Fortnite or frustrating because it's something you can completely avoid and even if it doesn't kill you, it can take out like all your shield and almost all your health and you're left with nothing. One of the most common ways to get killed by a trap is by entering a house or any kind of building because what a lot of people do when they get a trap when looting at the beginning of the match is they'll just throw that trap down in a random spot and hope that someone runs into that trap later on in the game and it doesn't happen a ton but it's happened to me a couple of times and it is literally just infuriating getting killed by that and whenever you enter a house just make sure you look around especially in that front door look up look down make sure there's no trap and then enter but just constantly be looking at the ceiling for traps because people will place them absolutely everywhere another common way to get killed by a trap is one thing a lot of people are doing now is they're putting traps inside of their standard builds just a you know four walls and a staircase to head glitch a lot of people like to throw traps in there because people will actually rush you jump inside your build and then chuck on you right so if someone decides to do that and you have a trap in there you'll insta kill them so that's something a lot of people have started doing so keep in mind when you're rushing somebody with your shock and you build up to their build don't just jump in there because you probably could get killed by a trap and that definitely isn't fun especially when you kill them and you go to loot their stuff you jump in there and you insta die that is really really frustrating so next time you're playing fortnite don't just blindly run into you know houses buildings other people's builds and not expecting anything to happen because you never know where a trap could be placed I know it sounds kind of obvious, like, of course, you want to watch out for traps, but it's kind of crazy how many people die by these things, including myself. It's just sometimes they're in such weird places and you're not always looking, but when you do play, keep in mind that traps can be anywhere. So coming in at the number four spot on my list, assuming you have enough materials, and this is an interesting one. The reason why I decided to put this on this list is because this is something that you don't really think about all that much, how much materials you have, because if you're somebody who gets a good amount of kills every game, like 5, 10 kills a game, and you loot the other player, you're probably going to get a good amount of materials from the other players, especially if, you know, it's mid-game and you're getting those kills. Awesome, you're going to have a lot of stuff, but the thing is, you might get a, a healthy amount of wood and brick and steel, but the thing is, throughout the game, you use a lot of that stuff, especially if you're building over mountains or you're making these quick bases to heal or you make one base and then move 
move because the circle moves you can run out of materials pretty quickly and not even realize it it's ironic because i was actually just playing a game of fortnite and i remember in that game towards the middle of the game i had like 600 wood i didn't have much brick i didn't have much steel but i had 600 wood i'm like i'm gonna be absolutely fine for the rest of the game and i got to a top 10 situation and i was 1v1ing one guy and i completely ran out of materials and i was so confused i'm spamming and i'm like i had so much wood and i looked down i have absolutely nothing left so it can happen and i know there are times where i'm shooting at somebody and they're building and all of a sudden they stop building for some reason and i get the kill and that's probably because they ran out of material so it's a good idea to look down and see how much you have or at least switch if you're running out of you know wood brick or steel because you never know when you're going to need a large amount in a short period of time so coming in at the number three spot on my list saving your shield is something that a lot of people do and you should never ever ever do this this is one thing that will get you killed all the time and what i mean by saving your shield is for example let's say you come across a regular standard shield that gives you 50 percent shield some people will find that and go you know what i actually want to get a mini shield first so i can get half of my shield with the mini shield and the other half with the regular shield and then i'll have a hundred shield which is you know sounds like a good idea but the thing is if you run into somebody while finding that mini shield and you didn't have a shield on there's a good chance you're not going to win that gunfight and then you'll give the other player your shield that you didn't use the same thing applies for something like a chug jug or even a med kit if you come across a med kit and you have 90 health or 80 health don't save it for when you really need it because that 20 health could keep you alive and same with the chug jug say you have 20 shield and you, you have full health why not use a chug jug and get max shield and max health like a lot of people will save these things and that might come in handy the goal is you always want to have as much health and as much shield as possible don't don't save anything because it will come in handy sometimes it won't but a lot of the time it actually will save your life so don't save it use it right away so coming in at the number two spot on my list looting after killing somebody now i mentioned this in a previous top five i didn't think it was five things that bad players do in fortnite and looting after killing somebody is something i don't want to say you should absolutely never do it because there are times where obviously you're gonna loot after killing somebody it's just the right place right time but in most cases you shouldn't just kill somebody and then like run out in the open and loot them right away because there might be somebody nearby there might be somebody who heard those shots and might have seen the loot and what i do a lot of the time is i'll kill somebody especially if it's in the open an open area or if it's getting close to end game i'll kill somebody and i'll use their loot as a trap because someone will most likely come after a minute or two and start looting and i'll get an easy kill now i'm not gonna lie sometimes it can be tough when you kill somebody and they drop really good loot they have that gold scar or that gold rpg gold sniper the shield whatever you might need you kill them they drop it and your eyes just light up and you run out there and you get killed right it's just it's not fun and it, and it sucks because then you're not gonna even get the stuff and you're dead and you're searching for a new game so when you loot somebody just be kind of cautious again it depends on the situation you'll know when and when not to loot somebody just be careful be cautious use that loot as bait and you'll be good so coming in at the number one spot on my list if there's one thing you can take from this list it should be this and i just want to say this is incredibly obvious if you're a good player don't even worry about this because you probably don't do this but so many new players i would assume do this don't stand still like I, I don't understand why people still do this it's kind of an obvious thing i think standing still equals death especially against snipers but honestly against anything when somebody stands still it's just you're an easy easy target i don't care what you're doing always 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 try to be moving around and one thing a lot of people do this ties in to what we just talked about in the two spot they'll run up to some loot and they'll just stand there and it's just like no dude you're an easy kill when you do that they'll just stand there for a couple of seconds i don't know what they're doing changing their inventory if you're gonna loot somebody loot and run around in circles while you're looting it okay if you're gonna drop things quickly you know drop it and move you know don't just stand there in one spot because you're so 
such an easy target. Now, obviously, this doesn't apply to absolutely every single situation. There are times where you definitely have to stand still. For example, when you're sniping, right? You don't want to be moving when you're sniping because your shot's going to go who knows where. But, you know, if you're going to snipe, don't sit there for like five minutes scoping on the same spot or surveying with your sniper. You got to just, when, you, when you're going to shoot, you want to stand still for that one second when you shoot and then again move right away same thing for you know your AR when you're shooting with the AR you want to be crouched you want to be standing still you'll be more accurate but don't stand still for like 45 minutes right take your shots and then keep moving just keep moving this game it will make you a lot harder to hit and you'll definitely do a lot better so there we have it guys those are five things you should never do here in Fortnite Battle Royale and I know some of these things are kind of obvious especially for those of you who are more experienced at the game but for those of you who are newer to the game keep these things in mind because these are really really basic things that you shouldn't be dying by and you know even to this day sometimes I run into traps or I'm standing still too long or I get excited because I see a gold scar and I want to loot it and somebody kills me because they're smart but it happens it's frustrating when it happens to you but just keep these things in mind and we'll definitely help you get better at Fortnite Battle Royale and of course guys if you haven't already make sure to drop a like on today's video that'd be amazing subscribe for more Fortnite's top 5 videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.